Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to run some programs on Windows using Python. So first of all we're going to import sub process. Okay, and now we're going to do an intro. <coughs> so this will just tell the users uh, what it's all about. And it's going to be print. Just going to do this here. So another print again. And uh, we're going to tell the user what we're going to do. Run a program. Okay, so there we go. Run a program. Let's just level that off a little bit and uh, make it look okay. The next one is print and it's going to be the same so I'll just show you this I'll just run it so you can see what this is like first of all I'm going to save it okay so run that now and uh, we can't see anything because I haven't called it <laughs> so we have to call it by calling it via intro because it's a function so there we go let's just run that and uh, you can see what that looks like so we'll carry on to the next function okay so the next function is going to be called let's just uh, put this down here a little bit it's going to be called run process so print Uh, one, I think we're going to do notepad. Uh, two, let's have a look. Uh, I think we'll run calculator. And let's have a look for three. What application can we la launch? I think command, the command prompt. Okay, so that should do it. Right, that's about wrong. Run process. Okay. So we're going to <coughs> take some user input. So I'm going to call that run process. It's going to be equal to input. So the user gets one of these processes to choose from, either one, two, or three. So that brings us on to the next line of code, which is a conditional, an if statement. So if run process is equal to one, so if the user chooses one, that's going to be run notepad which is a separate function we're going to create now so I'm just going to create that now so define run notepad okay so this is the separate function okay so all we have to do to uh, oh dear should be run okay so all we have to do is uh, use sub process dot run and here we're going to say notepad dot exe okay so that now will start notepad up okay so l if right l if run process doing that run process is equal to two 
Uh, we're going to start up calculator, so I'm going to create a subroutine for the calculator, which is going to be called run calculator. Okay, so we're going to create this under here, which is run calculator, which is going to be here, run calculator again, sub process dot run. Okay, and that's going to be calc dot exe okay so that's how we run that okay so the final process is going to be command so now if let's say run process is equal to three okay is equal to three we're gonna go for run command which is gonna be this one so underneath here we're going to have to run the command so I'm going to create that subroutine there let's just knock that down a little bit to make it look a bit uh, better formatted so run command okay so that's going to be sub process dot run and uh, again so for the run command I think it's going to be cmd.exd, yeah, cmd.exe, okay, so there we go, oh, nearly forgot, so if anybody enters anything else, except for one, two, three, we're going to have to use a catch-all here, uh, print, uh, Error import, something like that. Error import. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to save this and uh, let's run the program, shall we? So here we go, run the module. Okay, run program. Okay, so let's have a look. No, a bit of a problem here so let's just sort this out okay problem is I've only called the intro what I should have done there would have been to call the next function so the next function would have been run process just uh, forgot to put that in there okay we should be good to go now so let's just uh, save that okay let's run the program here we go. Right, that's more like it. So we've got the message runner program, we've got the options, notepad, calculator, command. So one, two, or three are the options. So I want to run notepad, so I'm going to type in one, hit enter, and there you go. There's notepad. Okay, let's uh, run the program again. We'll go through it, make sure everything is working here. So I want calculator, so number two calculator there you go there's calculator for you and let's run the next one which is command which will be number three okay and there's the command prompt for you and let's have a look that's the last one let's type in some gobbledygook you can see what happens okay error input so there you go you've got the catch-all statement here error input so there you go Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. I hope you like that. And remember, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-de-bye.